my hands on that heretical text. If you manage to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. Well, I don't care if the sum is good looking or not, as long as there's a lot of it. Uh, handsome? <laughs> what kind of weirdness y'all into around here? What? Uh, you seem the perfect type to go blindly into the wild on a suicide Oh, quest. he called me perfect! I'm looking for a journal, a handwritten book, with the name M. Bokonu on the cover. I'll pay you to find it. Okay. I'll find it. Leave it there. Tell him I found it. Um, yeah, okay, I'll look for a book. Thank you. We don't need to ask why if you, you would retrieve be interested it, in a heretical you can novel. Always find not me novel. here. Heretical book. Hey, we leveled up. Oh, and we can get a new perk. You know what my perk's gonna be? Changing the sitting mode. Sit mode engaging. More than meet the eye. Ah, comfy. Okay. Um, hmm. Still think, I think we're still gonna put a lot into dialogue and then just try to possibly like boost our way up to intimidate or something like that. Um, like in terms of break points, like we might need some more of this. We might like, some more of the hacking and lock picking would be good. Oh, for tinkering, yeah. Uh, we have actually unlocked tinkering, although the 50% tinkering is really good. <laughs> actually, the tinkering cost for science weapons being capped is nice. So there's science weapons in this game that their weapon damage scales with your science skill, which is pretty amazing. Hacking for selling stuff, yeah, maybe. Um, I think it's probably worth getting some of this so that we can at least pick more locks and stuff. And then if we get hacking up to 20, I mean, you can always sell stuff to like regular vendors, but being able to sell to vending machines is pretty handy. I don't know. There's like, there's so many, there's so many good things to grab. We can keep just maxing out our melee skill. Um, the defense here, like, does any of this walk work automatically? Provides bonus armor rating when holding a melee weapon and can allow a perfect block. So you just, whenever you have a melee weapon, you just have armor, period. So even if you're not using the blocking ability. Hmm. Leap, dodging forward. You know what? It's probably worth unlocking the leap forward. The great leap forward. You get this to at least 20. That way humans have a chance of cowering when we hit them. That could be handy. You know what we're going to do? We're going to keep maxing out tech. We're gonna, I, I don't know if we'll get it past the 50, but Igor, the lab assistant over here, gorgeous fella, um, is definitely going to get to 50 with all the tech skills. I think we'll probably stop there rather than specializing. We'll do that, and then we can be perky. Um, I do want to get more sprint speed, which is going to be nice for closing distance into melee. Um, we don't need the carrying capacity yet, although we will want it. Discounted vendor prices. Uh, I think it's probably just time to get the base health. It's just, you know, that's 50% more. That's a lot of health. And we'll just get that. Got lots of perks, especially if we're willing to take flaws. <laughs> Should we just take, like, all flaws that come up? Uh, delivers read message. Yeah, I think that's what we're working towards next here. Um, so we'll fast travel back to the community center and then keep walking forward. Maybe not literally all flaws, but I think we're, we're going to be a pretty flawed person, I think is, is what's going to happen. I kind of, even though our, our gun sh skills are pretty low, I kind of do want to take a few pot shots here with a plasma weapon. Take all the flaws. That can be associated with dumb. Oh, yeah. All the head trauma things. <clears throat> that would take four lockpicks. We're not going to do that. Assault rifles. Lots of dead marauders over here. Who killed all the marauders? Hey, Bola Cat, thanks for the sub. And just before that, Real Diego, 21 months as well. And Xanator, 26 months. Thank you very much. I know I'm not catching a lot of those. Being bad. Try to do a read through of the uh, the subs when we get near the end of the stream here, so we catch all the ones that uh, that we missed. 
I don't think I can get into... Oh, I can get into this building. You know, mostly a little bit of consumables and stuff. Nothing really to, uh, to write home about, which is good because I don't know how to write. Whee! Off we go! This Bioshock and... Like Fallout in space, it's like it's like there's so many vibes you can go to. The Aurora, well, I don't know if that's Aurora Borealis, but whatever Aurora is going on over there is really pretty. And then yeah, we got the ring over here too. Like the sky is just awesome. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Well, I don't want any trouble either. I just heard you guys have dessert. I don't know you. I don't whatever know you. You're looking for it ain't here. Move along. Um. What's your problem? Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Fair enough. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Who's been wandering out of your camp? Got anything in you besides questions? Uh, I no, got much I'm sorry. Bread. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and <laughs> vanished purse. without I don't a trace. Know you. <laughs> All right there, now Bobby. I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to Hey, Gigakilo, come in with the two-month twitch anniversary. It says just subscribe. I, I may have to update something in my in my something, because on the pop-up it's not saying how long you've subscribed there. I'll see if I can get adjusted. Um Zoe went missing. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Oh, I figured I'm... she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. There you go. I'm used to the camera Can't being here. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. All right, I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Uh, where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. All right, let's put our weapon away. Walk into town. Wouldn't be polite to walk around with it extended all the time. Something, something. Phrasing. Okay, let's go to the hothouse. Ugh! Oh, why is it so warm in here? Why is it so warm in the hothouse? I think it's got a very glowy... This looks very Bioshock. Right here, this scene, the lighting, the plants, the glass ceiling, the sort of art deco kind of thing. This is very Bioshock. Ship you is like a little serenity. Yeah, it's Firefly, it's it's Fallout, it's Bioshock. It's like so many vibes. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. Ooh. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. She Whatever sounds so sweet. with Edgewater. Leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Uh, what that smell? That'd be the garden, dear. You're standing in a garden. Also fertilizer, so mind your boots. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. It's like I grew it tobacco. in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. <laughs> <An> old spittoon. <laughs> uh, is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The it's garden whiskey and chocolate. Bobo, hey, thank you very much. Life is the gift of the universe. Hang on, I gotta read and it. The, the universe screen. yields its bounty equally. Absent of prejudice. Uh, thank you for City De Civ Deity Gameplays Quill. Just won my first Deity game last week. Oh, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Uh, thanks to things I picked up watching your Civ streams. Well, hopefully what you did is learn from a lot of my mistakes and then didn't do them, and that's why you won. But congratulations. That first Deity win is so hard to get under your belt in any version of Civ. So congratulations, and thank you very much for the support. Uh, ba -ba -ba, staying long, Spittoon, belongs to all of us, yada yada yada. Um, wait. Tripe? Wait, what? Why am I asking about tripe? Funny, never knew you could do a tripe in a garden. Ah, cynicism. The privilege of It's a the super young. sarcastic response. Yeah, I totally missed what it. What you need is a little taste of my special mushroom soup. It'll broaden your mind. Or at least your irises. 
She's selling, she's making psychedelics? Yeah, I never did this conversation uh, pattern, I think, last time I was here. Uh, looks like you made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for I was told there would be dessert. Left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil. We oh, so she's a turbo roots. hippie. Uh, hold on. You guys can fly? Yeah, maybe if, oh, on the mushroom soup. My goodness. Aren't you just charming? Oh, bless your heart. Uh, Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> this might not be the right path to like making peace, but it sort of sounds about right, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound like where we'd be with this character? I don't know. <laughs> Three it is. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Oh yeah, he's totally like soporific. That comes out of Edgewater. That peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. <laughs> um, he asked me to divert power, your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. Oh no, this is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. I don't know. One or two. One. I keep getting buzzing. Oh yes, I know I'm supposed to be streaming phone. Thank you very much. One, two, one, one. Oh, th more ones. Okay, one that is. I think it might lead to the same sort of thing here. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plan? Because he told me to. Uh, camp has a power regulator. It needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery. But he asked first. And leave us be. If you're going down to the plant... You should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. It's be whiskey and chocolate. And town from a <sighs> lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero? Mm, I could go for a hero right now. Uh, Halko Mahuli, thank you very much for that. And hold on, your Fraser, Fatser chocolate and Samiaka order is being processed. Oh, 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 oh. it's so good. I'm gonna crack. I'm gonna crack into the marabou in a second here, because it's like I keep thinking about the chocolate. Oh God, it's so good. Uh, she has so nicely. Yeah, screw Reed. Uh, yeah. Um. Consider it. What do you got against the town? Looking mixed up. I just want to fix my ship. A hero to you, maybe. Actually, I kind of like four here. Because, yeah, it would be a hero to her, but it would be screwing the other town. So, just to let you know, in this playthrough, we are going to go and side with Reed here. Uh, although, if we can, you know, somehow make it peaceful as much as possible, that would be good. Because in my other playthrough, I did actually sound, side with these guys. But there's lots of reasons we're going to side with Reed here. In particular, we're going to sort of take um, Parvati's sort of innocent... Um, thoughts about it, and you know, she thinks, Well, that's the town, that's what has to have the power, that's where all the people are, right? So, a hero to the people who matter, and yes, to we us. have to obey the hat to the ones who her hair around. is nowhere near as good as the other people, to the ones so, who save, you know, priorities. We will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine. Oh, I've been the there, culture. wine goes right to my all head. He sees his productivity, output, profit. mostly it's the yeast culture, though. Um, you think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Mm -mm. I don't know. Should I just say I'll consider it? Sign of Reed is better. You can replace him with Adelaide. Ooh. Someone says three. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. All right, I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. All right, this, this bubble tank is really cool, though. Something you need? 
Oh, it really brings out the greener eyes. Oh, okay. We'll be able to get some more info from her, but maybe not yet. Should we look around here a little bit? Oh, that's just in and out. Is there anything else in here? I don't think I really snooped around here my first playthrough. Oh, computer. Personal files. Password protected. Oh, I don't have 15 hack. Experimental notes. There you go. Open first entry. Uh, I hereby rep I am hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless automaton of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacer's Choice products, it is cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand the horticulturalist failed to produce a single viable crop. Something about the soil being too poor. I'm determined to find a way. May the eternal smile upon my endeavors. Last entry. Flora are living things as sensitive to an environment as any breathing, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region fail because the corporate scientists tending to them are cold, heartless, inhuman people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhuman power. One cannot, ex one does not simply uh, expect your crops to flush with green and reach for the sky, reach for the sky under these conditions. The soil is sour, it's true. Don't quite know how to explain that. I'm sure the scientists will say something about biology or the carbon cycle. But I conclude, after months of my own experimentation, that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. So poop. Oh. This lady's full of shit. Well, aren't we all? Oh. Thinking capitals. Hey, that sounds useful. Steal that. Here, that's actually a quick save, because I haven't done a while, and if we get caught and ruin reps, it'll be annoying. Let's just lead outside. You do. Everything here is sort of broken. Model spaceship. Uh, we'll leave in that. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, more back rooms. So there's no, the stealth meter, like, it shows you sort of going to stealth mode here with a different cursor, but it doesn't actually show you if you're being detected or not. Maybe at higher levels it does. You mostly have to look, actually look around and get a sense of things. All right, I mean, we can look around the town more. I don't know if there's some more people who can quiz. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. Oh, it's Zoe's journal. Okay. Yes, Zoe. Actually, hang on. Before we do that, uh, is it you? Stefan. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got dangling tubes. Um, oh, if we'd asked a little bit more questions at the start, we would have known that Stephen or Stefan here is one of Zoe's friends. Uh, told when your number's gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Yeah, there's detection above NPCs, um, but there's no sort of... So you have to look around and look for the NPC icons to know if anyone's detecting you. Uh, tell me about, about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I fix things by hitting them. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Zoe and I were going to watch the cereals as I like our cereal. custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Merchant skill is equal to your best dialogue skill. New to negotiate prices. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sell all my junk. Um, and probably not buy anything. Although we can buy some mods. Does anyone know like what the swirly icon is on a weapon? The little yellow glow here. Is just a weapon that's at max level for you? Or something? There's a lot of pop-ups in the game, but it doesn't explain the yellow swirly. We don't have any weapons with that right now. It means it's unique. Oh. You oh. hungry? We got canid rib. Some fresh off the limb. Myra, 
special choice revolver that was customized by Metton Smith to use heavy Vulcan ammo. Only five rounds fit in a cylinder, but it hit like an asteroid. I see. And it comes already modded. We don't have enough money for it, but it is interesting. Let's go ahead and repair everything that we're wearing. We will have to get some skill to probably do it at some point, but for now it's okay. Um, oh yeah, so we're going to come in here and read Zoe's notes. Zoe's journal, page 12. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like other others? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's, posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery. I don't think I'll ever have to look back onto this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh, wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Okay, well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? Gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. I think that's the right tone. Page 18. Good news! I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better, too. There's a group of deserters, mmm, dessert, living out in the old botanical labs. Uh, they found a way to grow some food, or something that passes for food, anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. Tastes atrocious, atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an aether wave. I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Masked marketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know, that doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cadre of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right, does it? A band of bandits? What would we call ourselves? The Formidable 14, the 100 Hooligans, featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen. Uh, and then there's one more. Well, first of all, we can grab this poster. Terra Merch. Yeah. With Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. Yoink. We use that to decorate our ship later, I think. Um, there should be one more sheet of paper. There's that one. There's that one. Oh, right here. Page 22. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free from any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzo's. There you go. Searched Zoe's home for clues, so we know that she's gone feral. Um, and yeah, now we're going to go to the cannery, so we just have to sort of book it out of town this way. Chooka, 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 chooka. Terra March? That is not at all what the poster said. Oh, did I miss Ray? Wonder if Quill will find out what's in the fertilizer. Yeah, we don't know yet. I don't know um, how we snoop around to find that out. I don't think there's anyone around here, right? Steal that. Steal that. Can sleep in a bed. Bits, frozen dinner, armor parts. Cut. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, chat voted to mostly not switch to save. We're gonna continue this. So it'll probably be our one and only stream of this. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're not going to switch to Civ today. In a vibe. I'm really enjoying myself. So we're going to keep going. Bump, 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 bump. The hell is that? Nice one. Leather boa. I do like this weapon. I remember it. It's got the triple shot thing. Feels very satisfying to fire. True. True. <laughs> is it? It's dead. That's what it is. You're right. All right, geothermal plant, here we come. I always wanted to poke around in here. Where are we headed? Hello? One ticket to the geothermal plant, please. Hello? Can I just slide some money in through here? Aw. Ha! 
Here we go! <laughs> Don't mess with us! Why am I playing Sneaky 